May the 22nd, 2021. Guys, you're looking at images of the sun from the Solar Dynamics Observatory satellite, and it gives you an Earth-facing perspective. So what you see here on this side is this very large sunspot rotates around. Earlier today, we were getting multiple C-class flares that are throwing off CMEs, but now we have moved into two more flares that are uh, stronger than that up into the M class. After that, you get into your X class flares. But watch the explosions both left and right. And you can, we'll look at a different satellite and you'll see what I'm talking about. But, but they've thrown a CME out, uh, towards our planet. And on the 25th, we're going to see some impact, possibly some quakes. But look at, check this out. This is one of the new, uh, flares that are into the M category. And that X that you see is where the X flares get their name. And there's a lot of radiation involved. A lot of people are going to be on the beaches and stuff this weekend. But uh, again, the there's a problem with our CME trackers. If you have multiple explosions back to back, they don't pick them all up. You may have to, you know, just see that model till it plays out. But guys, the, the little sparks, the little sections that you see exploding are the size of our planet. And what is happening is the center of the sunspot has one polarity, but all the little spots around it has the opposite polarity, and you're having an arcing effect. Notice at the very left of the sun, there's another sunspot that's turning Earth-facing. We are rapidly getting into the up um, flow into solar cycle 25. Now look at this. This is another satellite called Lasco C3. You can see both of the explosions. But neither one of the satellites have picked up the newest two M flares. They will be uploaded, I'm sure, pretty soon. But that's what we're dealing with. It doesn't look like they're facing with the R because of this occulter disc right in front. It's like holding your hands up to the sun so you can look. There's your first one. As you were seeing that explode both sides, there's your second one. There's been two more more powerful than what we've seen on this satellite or on the CME tracker. So I want you to be very careful. It says a closer look at AR2824, which is the number of the sunspot, shows the reason for all the magnetic instability and C flare activity. But again, the last two flares since this article were M flares, the next level. The main dark core, which is a positive magnetic polarity, is surrounded by a number of smaller spots with opposite negative polarity. The tension uh, surrounding the region continues to manifest itself in the form of C flares due to the magnetic uh, changes. That's here's what we're dealing with. Coming up on May the 25th at 1800 hours UTC time, the side, uh, we're going to get a side glancing blow from this coronal mass ejection. Now, this is tracking one of the earlier flares from today, not the two largest. Not, like I said, this is one of the problems with it. We started out, you had three explosions in the C class range. Then the last two have already made it up into the M flare range here. And uh, when you go across that red line, you're in the X flares. Now, those spots are torn turning towards our planet. And we have to be very careful because as it was turning, you have a CME that throws it slightly out left or right. You don't have a direct impact, but we're about to deal with it. Now, look what it started happening yesterday with the uh, C flares, 7.3. In China, 6.5, Alla Wallace down off the Australian coast, and a multitude of 5.5s, including uh, up in the Aleutians and down into Central America. And there were multiple quakes around these big ones, but guys, a 7.3 quake is uh, pretty intense. Here's your 6.5 that's south, 266 kilometers south southeast of the uh, Australian air, uh, island there. And you've got some 5.0s on both ends of the ring of fire, or the San Andreas Fault. Let me straighten that out. But guys, what we're dealing with is suddenly the sun is awakening. Now, it will last 11.8 years. We're going to rise in intensity for the first five and a half, and we'll decline from there. But though, even in the rise in the fall, there can be very dangerous solar explosions. And that's what we're looking at. But again, on the impact day of... Uh, the 25th of May at 1800 hours, we're going to be looking around uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and that's a plus or minus, um, uh, eight hour or four hours. You've got an eight hour gap there. So sometimes around 
uh, Monday as we get into this early Monday and I'll update it as we get updated information we could start to see that impact but again May the 25th this is just the beginning date here up to around uh, and you'd say from 1300 to 1800 hours which would be from 1 to uh, 6 p.m. in the afternoon but we're watching it guys just a quick update the sun is waking up and it's throwing out some very powerful flares and coronal mass ejections it's a heads up be safe